Good local time, everyone. I'm Audrey Tang, Taiwan's digital minister. It's an honor to address you all today at Plurality Tokyo. Before I delve into my speech, allow me to share a poem that encapsulates our mission. When we see Internet of Things, let's make it an Internet of Beings. When we see virtual reality, let's make it a shared reality. When we see machine learning, let's make it collaborative learning. When we see user experience, let's make it about human experience. And whenever we hear that a singularity is near, let us always remember the plurality is here. In recent months, the rapid development of language models has heightened concerns about existential risks, raising questions about the looming singularity. However, I am a firm believer that assistive intelligence has the potential to liberate our time for more meaningful pursuits. The crafting of this very speech was indeed aided by language models, demonstrating the power of transformative technology, which will indelibly reshape human society, much like the Internet has done. With three quarters of a century remaining in the 21st century, the first quarter century's joint efforts have laid the groundwork for the digital world's fundamental structure. We cannot overlook humanity's adaptability, as our present lives were also once beyond the imagination of those in the beginning of the 21st century. As transformative technologies emerge, Diverse communities generate unique usage patterns to fulfill distinct objectives. While autocracies exploit technology as a means of control, we strive to democratize technology in pursuit of plurality or collaborative diversity. Guided by the spirit of plurality, democracies must go beyond devising protective measures we're envisioning a trajectory embracing the triad of participation, progress, and safety. In a plural world, everyone can establish their digital spaces while collaboratively crafting interaction modes that accommodate all. Although communities may differ in norms and cultures, we can reveal shared values for shared reflection and deliberation, thus fostering an interoperable co-presence. This aspiration necessitates a robust digital infrastructure. The growth of Taiwan's internet and democracy has proceeded in tandem. Today, the Taiwanese people readily utilize the internet as a public forum for discourse, and the Taiwanese government staunchly upholds broadband as a human right, ensuring every citizen has sufficient bandwidth for live streaming even atop Taiwan's highest peak, Mount Jade, thereby facilitating continuous dialogue and value exchange. Innovative mechanisms, such as quadratic voting in presidential hackathons, have enabled numerous co-creation initiatives, including the Water Refill Map app, which merges public water dispensers with eco-conscious tea shops to combat plastic waste. Other notable projects include a community-established CO2 uptake platform for carbon reduction, and last, a collaborative river basin management platform. While Web3 implementations often emphasize novel technological capabilities, our experience from five years of presidential hackathons revealed that the crux of success lies in prioritizing people and utilizing appropriate technology to foster seamless communication, consensus building, and problem solving. So today, it is heartening to witness the numerous Web3 events unfolding in Tokyo, such as Plurality Tokyo, S Global Tokyo, and DAO Tokyo. Developers worldwide are collaborating now on decentralized technology, exemplifying plurality through distributed ledgers that empower everyone to co-create content within a shared commons. And to build upon these achievements and broaden the vision of 
plurality. We established the Ministry of Digital Affairs last August, serving as the MOTA or motor for Taiwan's digital transformation. We bridge civics and technologies. We strengthen industry and security in unison. Indeed, our ministry has a dedicated section in charge of Web3 infrastructure, with our initial focus on decentralized identities. By learning from DAO communities, we strive to construct bridges between traditional institutions and those that are emerging. Earlier this year, we joined forces with a worldwide web consortium to develop verifiable credentials and decentralized identifiers. Through such frameworks, we can play a crucial role in confirming the authenticity of natural persons, legal entities, and novel organizational structures such as DAOs. As we look to the future, individuals utilizing decentralized apps on the decentralized web will possess the right to determine with whom they share their data. We are unwavering in our commitment to collaborate with Web3 innovators on quadratic funding, retroactive funding, and social impact bonds. Our pilots, those people-public-private partnerships, are well positioned to be disseminated across Japan and all democracies as digital public goods. As we navigate uncharted waters of this century and beyond, I urge you to stand with Taiwan in the pursuit of plurality. By harnessing our collective intelligence, creativity, and resolve, we can drive genuine and enduring transformation. Let us embark on this journey, united in our mission to show the world the unyielding spirit of democracy. Thank you. Live long and prosper.